So I've had a chance to check out Samsung's top of the range. This is the pinnacle smart TV for 2024. This is the QN900D 8K Neo QLED TV. So let's get into it. Wow, okay, so here it is. So this is the 85 inch QN900D, but there are 75 and 65 inches, but this one is very, very roomy. So standout feature of this year's TVs is that this is a generative AI TV. And yeah, I know you probably heard so much about AI this year already, but what sets this apart is generative means that it's creating content, not just, I guess, using algorithms to refine content. So because this is an 8K TV, the big question is, all right, well, why do I need one? Because there's not very much 8K content. Samsung has made a very bold claim here. They've said that this TV using generative AI to enhance the picture will look better than any of its 4K TVs. So there's a lot of capabilities here. Let's go into them in greater detail and I'll tell you what's good and what's not so good. It's hard to do a lot when it comes to design when basically the TV is just all screen, but you do get Samsung's Infinity One style. So that is a sort of edgeless screen. Also it gets thinner this year. It's 12.9 millimeters thin as opposed to 15 millimeters from last year's model. And you do get Samsung's One Connect box. And I do really like this for cable management because you plug everything into that box and there's a 2.5 millimeter cable that runs to the back of the TV and it even carries power as well. So that's good. It gets a little bit thinner too. Too. But the downside is, is that you used to be able to get an extended length cable, but now you're either limited to 2.5 meters or it comes with a 30 centimeter cable too if you want to put the One Connect box against the stand. Now in terms of stand, you can't really see it here because we've got a sound bar in the way, but it is a central stand. It's meant to sort of be invisible. Uh, the idea there is that you don't need to have legs at the end of the TVs because if your TV is very wide, then it potentially doesn't have anywhere to sit on your entertainment console. So it's good that the stand is right square in the middle. So there is a bit of a texture on the back of the TV too, and some nice sort of uh, venting on the top. So it does have that nice fit and finish in case you do see the back of your TV in your home setup. So this is a Neo QLED TV, and this type of technology is meant to be the best for bright spaces where there's a lot of light, say, coming through your living room windows. We've got a bright environment here, and this is just an example of how it looks. Even with anti-reflective technology, even with a bright panel, there's still quite a bit of reflections in this very dark scene here from fallout. But as soon as the scene gets brighter, you can see how much better it looks, and in, even in full sunlight conditions, and I think that's where Neo QLED really comes into its own. Generative AI is the latest technology that Samsung is using to upscale content to match this 8K panel. So there's a lot of technology going on here, so bear with me. But the idea is, is that because this is an 8K panel, all of the stuff that you're watching, it could be standard definition or 4K, needs to be upscaled to 8K resolution. And in the past, the algorithms that were used to do this sometimes introduced um, artifacts and things that just didn't look so good. However, with generative AI, it is recreating the scene that you're watching using machine learning and basically training that it's had on the way things should look. So when it does upscale them, it, they look more realistic than ever and they're sharpened nicely. And basically they're far, far better than before. Also, Samsung really knows this space. They make chips for NVIDIA. These are AI specialized chips. So they really have a pedigree in this area. So if anyone can do it, uh, Samsung definitely can. And this is also a first time ever on a TV using generative AI to enhance the picture. So as this is Samsung's top of the range TV, it has so many picture and sound enhancing features and there's a huge list of them here. But all of these are based around the new NQ3 AI Gen 3 chip, which is very, very powerful. And it basically has the capability to make a lot of the settings for you. Now it just assesses the image itself and then tweaks it so you don't even have to know how to do it. But I will cover off a few of them here. So with Quantum Matrix Technology Pro, so this is all about the backlighting technology that this TV uses versus other televisions. And because this is a mini LED TV, it uses smaller backlights themselves. So these mini LEDs are about the size of a grain of rice, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and that's about 1 40th the size of a normal 
LED in normal TVs backlights. And these backlights are arranged into grids or a matrix and the more little grids there are, the more precise control you have over where light and dark sort of are arranged in the screen. So that means better contrast, better detail in low light scenes and ultimately a much more realistic looking picture. And when it comes to realism, I really like the peace of mind that this TV is actually Pantone certified. So in case you haven't heard of Pantone, it's an industry standard color certification. And really what it just means is that uh, it supports over 2,035 Pantone colors. And basically it just means a more lifelike image and one that you can trust. Another big feature, AI of course, is AI Motion Enhancer Pro. So this uses AI to get around the limitations that older style TVs had when it comes to fast moving objects across the screen like a golf ball or a footy ball. And in the past it was things like power regulation, the, the actual frame rate that the footage was shot at and the TV's own frame rates that would create a juddered effect where the ball didn't move very smoothly. Now AI takes care of all of that and it can even recognize the ball type from a footy ball to a golf ball to a basketball and what have you. So if you're a PC gamer, this TV, according to Samsung, should offer you the best PC gaming experience ever. So here's why. First off, it has a 240 hertz panel. So that means that you can play games up to 240 frames a second, which is far more than say the 120 hertz that most TVs offer. Also, because it has an ultra wide gaming mode, it will support more sort of games that are akin to a PC monitor. So you get both the high refresh rate and also that widescreen experience as well. Plus there's a new AI feature that allows the mini map to be automatically identified and cut out and placed in the black areas at the top or the bottom of the screen. In previous years, you'd have to do this manually. So this is a cool feature too. Plus you have everything else that you'd need either for console gaming or PC gaming, like variable refresh rates, auto low latency modes, and it will of course come with four HDMI 2.1 ports so you can plug in up to four devices. And if you don't have a PC or a console, Samsung's TV has you covered because it supports Xbox and GeForce Now cloud gaming so you can get console quality gaming without even having to have the device. And it will sync with Xbox and PlayStation controllers or other Bluetooth controllers too. So really when it comes to gaming, you are completely covered. So AI makes another appearance, but only with sound this time, not just picture. And one of the standout technologies is Active Voice Amplifier Pro. So essentially, the AI listens to the audio that you're listening to and then cuts the voice out of it or sort of separates it from the background audio and then makes the voice louder so you can hear it better. So for example, say you're watching a big action movie, lots of explosions, lots of music, but the voice gets a bit muffled or covered up, it will make sure that the voice is loud and clear. So this actually comes with a 6.2.4 speaker setup and these speakers are placed all around this, the screen itself. So there's some on the sides, some on the top and some on the bottom. And that allows the TV to get true Dolby Atmos. So all of the channels are separated into the speakers. There's definitely up firing. So you get that elevated sound as well. Plus it has object tracking sound and the speaker placement then enables sounds to appear to move across the screen tracking the object. So if you have a helicopter flying across the screen, it will sound like the sound is actually moving. But this year's model also gets better enhancements for uh, vocals. So if you have someone's face, the sound will actually sound like it's coming out of their face or even their mouth, which is kind of a cool effect. I've tried it out and it does work and it really does kind of add to that realism. And I love the way the sound can move across the screen, not just a stereo effect, but actually tracking that audio. For me personally, I really do love the look of an OLED TV and we just looked at the Samsung S95D for 2024 and I'll put a link to that at the end of the video. I do like that extra black, true deep black look. This television does get close to that with its uh, quantum dot technology 
its mini LED matrices and a lot of control over light and dark, but it's just not quite to that level if you like that kind of look. However, it is a brighter screen. There is all kinds of optimizations going on. This is a Pantone color certified screen. So you really are getting a very lifelike as well as a very realistic looking image. So look, in terms of which one do you choose, this model is more expensive, but it is an 8K panel. And really that is something that is difficult to compete with when it comes to that overall picture clarity and just really top, top notch looking images, especially for movies. It really is wonderful to watch for movies. So overall, top of the range, definitely get what you're paying for. And we have seen a step ahead in image quality versus other years and a lot of world firsts here from Samsung. Okay, well, we have done a full day of testing here. You can already see that it's dark outside, but I can tell you that the QN 900D definitely looks even better in these dark room conditions. So you can buy one here in Australia. The 85 inch starts at $13,900. The 75 inch is 10,427 and the 65 inch is 7,530. So these TVs are not cheap, but they do represent the pinnacle of Samsung's 2024 TV range. And they're also the latest and greatest when it comes to technology. Speaking of which, what do you think about AI? Is this more buzzword than substance or is it something that's here to stay in our TVs? Leave me a comment, love to know what you think. And otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.